Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Um, I've really been getting into custom binding my comics lately, uh, and I haven't seen too much of it on YouTube, so I thought I would just um, show off what I've done so far, and then in another video do a bit of like a sneak preview on, on some of the things I'm planning on doing next. So these are the first three that I've had done. Uh, we'll go through them one at a time. I did it with uh, Houshin Bindery uh, in the States. I'm in Australia at the moment, but had them shipped to the States to get these done. Um, we'll get these two out of the way. And so the first one up that I want to talk about is this Talon Complete Collection uh, written by Scott Snyder and James Tynion with art uh, initially mainly by um, Gaia March. Now this collects the whole run uh, as well as an issue of Birds of Prey that was with it. Um, it's just the two trade paperbacks uh, bound together into a hardcover. Um, this is the front cover here, so Talon Complete Collection, uh, the spine, and then the back. So we've got um, Talon issues 0 to 17, as well as that, uh, as that Birds of Prey issue, which was issue 21. So taking off the dust jacket, um, their base for all the collections is a buckram cover, uh, and then there's the foil on the side here, so again, Talon Complete Collection. Um, opening it up. Um, so you can sort of see here as well with recollecting things and having them rebound, there is more gutter loss than you would have otherwise. And so some of the pages have some, some speech balloons actually cut off a little bit, um, which is going to happen when you're rebinding comics. But for the most part, um, everything's still there. It all looks great. Um, <clears throat> it's all trimmed uh, to the same length around the sides, so there are no pages sticking out or anything. Uh, and they actually took all of the extra material from both trade paper paperbacks, and instead of having them partly, you know, in the middle after the first trade, and then at the end they moved it all to the very end, um, which was great. So this is my Talon complete collection. Uh, the second one. Is another DC one and another New 52 run. This is uh, Frankenstein Agent of Shade Complete Collection by Jeff Lemire and Matt Kent with uh, art by Alberto Ponticelli. This one was actually bound here in Australia as opposed to at Hoshin and so the size is a bit different and as such the dust jacket doesn't fit perfectly. But that's the spine and the back and I'm trying to keep them all uh, the same sort of layout, and so they all have some art up here, and then the collection down below. Uh, this collects uh, issues 0 to 16, so the whole run of Frankenstein, Agent of Shade. That's it without the dust jacket, purple buckram, and there's the spine. So like the Talon one, this was just uh, a couple trade paperbacks that were collected together. through some of the pages. And again, it's all been trimmed down to size so that there's nothing sort of hanging out and it's all even. Um, and this one has uh, all the extras and everything collected at the end as well, which is great. Uh, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having a bunch of random stuff halfway through the book. So that one turned out really well as well. Uh, the last one here is Marvel. It's Steve Rogers and the Secret Avengers by Ed Brubaker. And so this is the uh, Steve Rogers Super Soldier trade, as well as uh, the two Secret Avengers trades that Ed Brubaker wrote, which are the first 12 issues of the first volume of Secret Avengers. The spine. And the back cover. Again, similar layout to the others. So we've got um, first 12 issues of Secret Avengers and Steve Rogers Super Soldier issues one to four. Now, I think I need to work on my writing because there was a bit of um, a miscommunication with the, um, the spine for this one. So it says Steve Rogers and the Secret Answers, um, but that's all right because the dust jacket's going to be on it most of the time. So yeah, again, this is just three trade paperbacks, 
um, all bound together. So the Secret Avengers art. And then like the others, you have all the extras moved to the back just to, to give it a bit of a nicer reading experience. And all trimmed to size along the edges as well. Uh, so yeah, so those are the first three that I've had done. <clears throat> I've got lots more planned and I think I'll make a video previewing some of the ones that I'm about to send off as well because I've gotten a little more into it and there's going to be more combinations of trades and single issues and extra material and stuff that I printed off so stay tuned for that. I don't plan on uploading a ton of videos very often because um, it is sort of a long process. It can take you know months to send things off and get them back. Um, but I will try to keep updating because I'd love to see more of this kind of stuff on YouTube. Uh, it's really interesting. They're, you know, one of a kind collections that no one else in the world is going to have, you know, anything that's the exact same as yours. And so I'll try to keep everyone up to date. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.